What's up guys, Age of Masters here today, starting off our LEGO Bionicle Summer 2016 set reviews with set number 71315, Quick Beast. Taking a quick look at the box, you can just see that Quick Beast here. In the back of the box, you just have all the sets, except for Akimu equals this combiner. You have all the functions and the comic. Let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, so here is Quake Beast all built up, and first thing I want to say right away is he's really interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on here, and there's just a lot of concepts on the set. So, let's go ahead and take a look at him. First thing I want to show right away is his function. So you turn around and you look at the back and you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. You got all sorts of things here, and really all you do is very simple. You just turn the lever like this, and his arm will go kind of back and forth. And it works pretty well for what it is, although um, this little part of his shoulder right up here, it does crash into his head like that. So you have to worry about that. It does kind of limit it a little bit. And that's a little bit annoying, but it does work pretty well for the most part for what it's intended to be. And it is pretty decent. Now another part here is with his arms. He has the function here, however, his arms are still posable. Like this specific arm with all the function, you can move it all around, you pretty much get all the points of articulation. There's also this little area that you can just spin it if you want to, I don't really care about it too much, but that's there in case of, you know, some people want to spin it around. You can also move this part, you know, move all around all 360, and it will eventually get stopped right up here. And that's not too bad because it is nice to see that we have a lot of posability in this arm while still incorporating a function in the arm and it just works out pretty well and it helps it with uh, posability. Now taking a look at his other arm you can see it is like a massive downgrade to this arm. This arm's all bulky, he's got all this stuff going on and then you get to this one and this one's just super skinny but it is kind of nice because you do have this custom hand here which I do appreciate because it does work out pretty well, it looks pretty good. And it's just nice to see that, you know, LEGO decided to give us the custom hand there. It gives you a lot of points of articulation as well. Alright, so taking a look at Quake Beast's legs, you can see that they are asymmetrical. And personally, this doesn't bother me that much, because I don't think it's they're too different. It's just, this is uh, trans purple, that's black, and then this piece is there. Although I do wish this piece was on both legs, I think it would look better that way. But for some people, that's going to be really annoying. Another thing that I wish they kind of have here is on the heels, I wish they would have done something, like put a piece here so we'd have a little bit better stability, because as you can see, you know, he does have a lot of stuff um, on the top, so he does have a little bit of weight to him, so I think he would benefit from having some extra support on the back of his feet. Taking a look at his back, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. You have this um, shadow trap, I don't really know why it's there, it, it's really awkwardly placed, but you do get a... You get articulation with that, it can open up like this. Alright, so it does open up like this, so that's nice and you can rotate that around. And then you have his function which is just really kind of disrupt or disruptive, it's like really kind of in your face and out there. Although I don't mind it too much because I would rather have the function than not having the function. And you can also see he has these two swords up here. I. I'm not quite sure why those are there. I don't know what the point of them are. They look really weird. Like if you look at him from the front here, you can see these two swords, they just kind of jut out. They they don't like hit his head, you know, if you're doing the function, they're not gonna hit his head like that. So that is nice, you know, they are they are the appropriate angle where they don't really hit anything or, you know, kind of bother anything. But they just feel random and they feel just kind of added on. And they don't really seem to have any point. But I'm not you know, I'm not really sure about it, but they are kind of nice pieces for mocking. Another thing I want to quickly point out here is on Quake Beast, he does have his little special printed piece, although it's pink. Now, it's kind of weird that it's pink because the rest of the set consists of black and trans purple, so this pink really doesn't fit in with it, and it is, it is kind of weird to see, but for the most part, it is covered up by his jaw. And it isn't really too big of a deal, however it is just kind of weird to see that there. Another thing I want to point out is this arm for his function. It feels kind of too far out to me. As you can see, it is sort of jutted out, 
in favor of the function, but it is, it feels weird, it doesn't really look correct to me, and it's just kind of an all-around sort of weird looking thing. Another annoying thing is you can actually kind of see the function a little bit in the corner. You can see the gears, so it isn't really completely that well camouflaged in there. But again, that's not too bad because you don't really see it that much, but it is there. It is something to know. So taking a look at his head, his head I actually really do like. It is a little bit weird because it's a completely different shade of purple versus the rest of the set. It's just a solid purple, while the rest of the set has um, some trans purple in there. And that's just kind of weird, although I really do like the head, I think it works out well. However, it does annoy me right here. The mask is just too small, it doesn't cover up the whole sort of face piece. And it does look a little bit weird, but at least it does kind of work out a little bit because the piece is trans yellow. And it works out with the little trans yellow part on the back of the mask. And in this case, the function here, now normally what you would do is this back eye stock, you can just push it down. And that does work on this set, however, the uh, recommended method is you push the jaw up like this, and what will happen is it will fly off like so. And it is, it's kind of interesting, I'm not 100% sure my opinion on it, because I do think it would be better if you could just kind of have the jaws close and open, versus just pushing the jaw, because you could still accomplish the exact same thing with just the push of the eye stock. And it is... Kind of a interesting, kind of an interesting way of going about it. Although it is always nice and it's always appreciated in the sets. So similar to last year with 2015 Skull Villains, the beasts once again they come with these sort of infected Toa masks. This one is the infected mask of Earth, which would go with Onua. But unlike last year, it is not gold to trans purple. This one is just a black to trans yellow. So taking a look at this infected mask of Earth on Onua, it does really look infected. It doesn't really fit in too great with Onua. However, I personally think that is a good thing in this case because it, it really shouldn't fit in with Onua because, you know, it's infected. So it is kind of nice to see and it is a nice addition to the set. However, I do want to point out it does feel a little bit useless because in order for this to really give you much play value, you kind of need Onua here because the mask, even if you wanted to, it cannot actually fit on Quake Beast's head. So the mask is just kind of there as a little addition, but it doesn't really add much play value to the set. So overall, with Quake Beast, my opinion on it really is just, you know, it's it's like a, it's a decent set, but really it's just a lot of potential here that just wasn't quite executed correctly. There's a lot of good ideas in this set, but a lot of it just doesn't seem to work out. And it doesn't really have a lot of playability to it because it does have, you know, that arm swinging function and it comes with the mask. But really, those don't really add much play value to the set unless if you have another set to go with it. Because, you know, you can only swing that function so many times before it really doesn't seem like something that would be really useful or fun to you. Unless you have another kind of set to work with it and sort of play against. Now, although despite that those things are there, Quake Beast isn't really that awful of a set because, you know, he does look a little bit weird. He has some weird things going on, but you do have all your standard points of articulation. You know, you got all the things you really need in the set. He is relatively poseable, and he comes with a lot of great pieces for mocking. So Quake Beast, for me, he's sort of an interesting one. He's not really a must-need set, but he isn't completely awful either. He's sort of one that's in the middle, where it's like, if you want it, you should get it, but you probably should not be getting this one as a priority. It should not be on the top of your list. So that's just my opinion on the set. Go ahead and leave your comment or your opinion on the set in the comments below. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.